Hello there, full time at the Vitality was about a couple of hours ago now. Um, I've been writing my match piece for The Athletic, which you'll be able to check out tomorrow. But it was a one all draw in Mikel Arteta's first game in charge. Let me just start by saying Merry Christmas to you, or I uh, hope you're having a great holiday, regardless of whether or not you celebrate Christmas. Hope you're enjoying some time with the family. I know I've been at my uh, mother in law's house at the moment, hence the different setup. You won't be familiar with these walls. It looks less dark. It looks like less like I'm in a prison. Um, but emotionally, it feels very much like I am. Anyway, uh, one all at the Vitality. And I, for one, am encouraged. Uh, I thought there were good things in this performance from Arsenal. I think you've got to start with the midfield, really. Lucas Torreira in the holding role, where he wants to be, I thought was very good. More ball recoveries than any other player on the pitch. Uh, I think Jefferson Lerma actually at Bournemouth might have tied him, certainly more than any Arsenal player. His use of the ball was good. Granit Xhaka next to him, his use of the ball was good, but we'll come back to him later on. Mesut Ozil in front of that started really well, faded a little bit in the second half, but I actually think the reason he was brought off is because he will play against Chelsea on Sunday. I think that him coming off was a compliment as much as anything. Uh, and interesting that Mikel Arteta said his attitude and training has been spot on since he took the helm. Early days, of course. I think Arsenal suffered in this match due to a few things, really. Lacazette looked well short of his best. Couldn't make the most of the opportunities provided to him by one Ozil through ball, another from David Luiz in the second half. Just wasn't on his game. Hasn't been for the most part of the season. Had a couple of stop-start injury issues. Been out of the team under Freddie. So I've got a bit of sympathy with him there. And then also our use of the ball on the over that wasn't good enough. I mean, I thought Bukayo Saka did well. As a left back, I thought Maitland Niles did all right. Right back, I thought Reese Nelson had some good moments on the right wing. But when they got in behind, uh, they didn't execute well enough. Uh, I think it was eight sa uh, crosses Saka made and only a couple found the target. But I liked a lot about the shape of the team. I liked how Maitland Niles would tuck in more centrally or drive into the midfield, meaning that we could have sometimes sort of just a three at the back with, uh, with Saka pushing on, a bit like Carl Walker does for Man City. Saka's starting position was really high. He even sometimes went and started ahead of Shaka, taking up positions in a kind of inside forward role. Uh, and that gave Bournemouth a problem. You know, having a, a kid at left back who's out of position could have been a weakness for us, but Arteta made it a strength. He made it something Bournemouth had to deal with and had to cope with, had to live with. And I like that. You know, that's protagonists, that's proactive, that's making our strengths an issue for Bournemouth instead of allowing them to capitalise on our weaknesses. Um, I thought we moved the ball generally well, we progressed the ball well, we had a good amount of possession, plenty of attempts, but just not enough on target. I thought we were basically pretty good up until the final third. Uh, and I know people say, look, we dropped two points against a poor Bournemouth team, there's nothing to celebrate there. I think given how low we are, and given how far we have to go, we have to take the positives where we can find them and look for signs of progress. I mean, ultimately, this result is meaningless. It doesn't matter to me if we're 9th or 11th or 14th. I don't really care. What I care about is that I can see signs in this team for next season and beyond that you know Arteta is the right man. And it's only one game, but I liked it. Uh, it's difficult to sort of draw too much from it, aside from that. But that is the way I see it. Um, as for Shaka, I thought he had a really good game. Use of the ball was excellent. Some quite good passing between the lines. But then almost as soon as full-time hit, there was a story in the German media in Blick, his agent saying, the player has an agreement with Hertha Berlin, which we had heard from other outlets a few weeks ago. Uh, and, I mean, they're just waiting on an agreement between the clubs. Now, whether or not Arsenal sanctioned this deal, I don't know. I mean, we are light in that part of the field, with El Elneny being out on loan, Ganduzi. And uh, Torreira would be our kind of only obvious senior senior central midfield players. You've got Joe Willock, but I think he's quite raw, quite untested. Uh, and it's no coincidence that Arsenal's big priority in the January transfer window is a central midfield player. I think if they're going to countenance letting Shaka go, they need a really good calibre of replacement. Uh, and that was just my wife coming into the room there to distract me. And... Who that is, I don't know. There's talk about Emery Can, there's talk about Adrian Rabio, both of whom are struggling to get the regular football they would like at Juventus. They would be decent signings, you'd have to say, at this point in the season. Um, but I'm not able to shed any light on the, on the kind of veracity of those reports at this stage. But obviously, we'll, we'll work on that and see where we get to. Anyway, I enjoyed watching Arsenal today. 
Um, and it didn't ruin my Christmas. And given what we've been through in the last few months, uh, that's a decent start. Uh, I'll speak to you after the Chelsea game on Sunday. For now, bye-bye.